गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माय क्लास एंड आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड रेगुलरली वाचिंग माय वीडियोस राइट एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ ग्रामर दैट इज मॉडल वर्ब्स राइट यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड एंड यूज इट ऑल्सो इन अ वेरी कैजुअल वे बट टूडे आई वॉन्ट यू टू लिसन टू मी वेरी केयरफुली to have a complete understanding about its usage and everything about the modal verbs okay i hope you understand it okay so we call it modal verbs we call it modal auxiliaries we call it uh, models in three ways we call it no problem and uh, first of all i will look upon the definition what is the definition of uh, uh, this so you can clearly see over here words which express desire probability request permission capability obligation etc along with the finite verbs very easy so they, they do not come alone right they express these qualities of human beings as i have expressed over here these words express desire probability request permission capability obligation all of these things along with the finite verbs you can see two examples i have shown over here i can go go is a finite verb over here so this modal verb can has not come alone right and it has come with the finite verb go and it is expressing the capability of i that it, i can go here also they should work work is a finite verb over here and this is modal verb should and they should has come with the finite verb work so they never come alone they always come with the finite verb to express these things what i have expressed in the definition and uh, why they are called modal auxiliaries dear students we all know what are auxiliaries auxiliary verbs that means supporting verbs a supporting verb always come support the main verb right you all are aware the supporting verb supports the main verb that is why they are called auxiliary or supporting verbs in the same way these modal verbs also work like the supporting verb they never come alone they always come with the finite verb you can see i can write they may come okay so that is why they are called modal auxiliaries because they work like supporting verbs auxiliary verbs one more important point very important point Modal verbs always combine with the present and plural form of verb. That means any modal verb will always come along with v1. No other form of verb. They will not come with v2, v3, v4, v5. No. They will always come along with the present and plural form of verb. As you can see in the examples, I can write. It can never be. they may come they may came or i can wrote or i can written no it will never be there got the point so this is the introduction about the modal verbs now i will move on to the modal verbs one by one and keep you explaining about that please note down these things now you can see very first modal verb is may very commonly used modal verb but all things can be do with this modal verb very first thing we can do request right for example i can uh, make request with that may i take your pen right it is a request then you can grant anyone permission with using this modal verb you can allow someone yes you may that means you have given the permission anybody has given you the permission so request and permission can be made using this modal verb third one is probability probability means possibility in hindi we say sambhavna for example it may rain right so that means it is going to rain that means it is going to rain so here may is expressing the probability what the point so request permission probability and wish wish may god bless you right may you uh, may you live long bhagwan tum tumhara bhala kare may god bless you this is a wish may you live long bhagwan tumhari lam umr lambi kare 
so these major four things can be expressed with the use of this model word may i hope it is pretty clear okay no need now. now moving on to the next model word okay now moving on to our next model word that is uh, might right this might is a past equivalent of may i have forgot to write over here past equivalent of may we cannot make any request with the use of might we cannot say might i take your pen no so that is why i have made a cross sign over here aap request nahi kar sakte isse you cannot give any permission also is your permission nahi de sakte you cannot say that you you might take my pen no it is wrong right so i have made a cross sign over here that means we cannot make request or we cannot make any permission also with this yes we can express probability but in comparison to may may can also express probability and might can also but when you use might in place of may it is showing lesser probability मतलब अगर मैं बोलता हूं कि इट मे रेन तो चांसेस थोड़े ज्यादा है और अगर बोलता हूं इट माइट रेन तो चांसेस थोड़े कम है दैट इज वाई आई हैव हुए हियर माइल्ड प्रोबेबिलिटी सो प्रोबेबिलिटी कैन बी एक्सप्रेस्ड बट माइल्ड इट माइट रेन नाउ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यूज परफेक्ट फॉर्म ऑफ माइट एग्जाम्पल वट इज द परफेक्ट फॉर्म ऑफ माइट सब्जेक्ट प्लस माइट हैव प्लस बी थ्री एग्जाम्पल ही माइट हैव सेलेक्ट क्या मतलब होगा वट इज मीनिंग वट यू मीन बाई दिस शायद वो सो चुका होगा सो वट इज द स्ट्रक्चर सब्जेक्ट प्लस माइट हैव प्लस बी थ्री शायद वो सो चुका होगा ही माइट हैव स्लेक्ट ही माइट हैव कॉन शायद वो जा चुका होगा दे माइट हैव कॉन शायद वो आ चुके होंगे राइट सो टू मेक सच सेंटेंसेस वी कैन यूज दिस परफेक्ट फॉर्म ऑफ माइट इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ कंटिन्यूस फॉर्म ऑफ माइट Subject plus might be plus b4. He might be sleeping. He might be coming. It might be raining. शायद वो सोच रहा होगा. शायद वो जा रहा होगा. शायद बारिश हो रही होगी. तो ऐसा हो रहा होगा के लिए हम continuous form use करेंगे. Subject plus might be plus b4. And for perfect form we have subject plus might have plus b3. I hope it is very clear. Please note it down. now moving on to my third model verb that is can okay what all things can we do with this model verb can first of all we can make request can i take your pen you can request somebody with this model verb can i talk to you for a moment right so we can make request with this model verb we can give permission also we can say somebody somebody as yes, you can right you can take my pen or you can come in anything like that so we can give uh, we can make request also and we can give permission also with the use of can now probability like may and might can can also be used for the for expressing probability but it is it shows the stronger probability for example it is showing uh, it is more probable if i am saying that it may rain and in place of may i say it can rain then the chance of raining is higher it is showing the strong probability i can say it can rain to the point that means the chance of rain is higher and it shows the capability capability of present not the past or future for example i can run fast that means main jo daud sakta hu tez ye meri present capability hai ye past ya future ki capability nahi hai it is the capability of present so it expresses the capability of present i can run fast right you can work hard you can pass the exam what point so this always express the capability of present number 4 prohibition prohibition means kisi ko kisi kaam karne se rok dena pratibandh laga dena to isse prohibition bhi aap kar sakte ho you cannot go out matlab aapne kisi ko prohibit kar diya कि वो बाहर नहीं जा सकता यू कैन नॉट गो आउट गुड पॉइंट सो यू कैन नॉट गो आउट सो फाइव पॉइंट रिक्वेस्ट परमिशन 
probability, a strong probability, capability of present prohibition, you cannot go out, you cannot move out, you can prohibit someone. I hope it is very clear. Okay, now moving on to my next model work. Now moving further, my next model verb is could. This is the fourth number. What is could? This is the past equivalent of can. This is the past equivalent of can. What all things can we do with this model verb? Yes, we can make request. We can ask somebody, could you give me your pen? Right, same meaning. Kya tu mujhe apna pen de sakte ho? Could you give me your pen? Second one, probability. But mild probability, as I told you, like uh, may, might, and can, could can also be used for expressing probabilities. I can say it could rain. What the point? Uh, they could come. Probabilities, mild probability. But. Now, capability of past can expresses the capability of present. Similarly, could expresses the capability of past, not the present capability. For example, I can say that I could go. मतलब मैं जा सका था या जा सका आई कुड नॉट गो मैं जा सका या मैं नहीं जा सका आई कुड नॉट गो मैं नहीं जा सका या मैं नहीं जा सका था आई कुड गो मैं जा सका था आई कुड नॉट कम मैं नहीं आ सका या मैं नहीं आ सका था वट पॉइंट इट शोज द केपेबिलिटी ऑफ पास्ट ओके Now perfect form of could subject plus could have plus be free. I could have gone. मैं जा सकता था. They could have come. वे आ सकते थे. You could have written a letter. तुम एक letter लिख सकते थे. They could have told. वो मुझसे कह सकते थे. You could have uh, passed the exam. तुम exam pass कर सकते थे. तो इस तरह से हम बातें कर सकते हैं. Right? So, how many uses? The requests, probability, capability, and then capability of past. Mind it, not the present. Once again, I could go meaning मैं जा सका या मैं जा सका था. Okay? And perfect form of could subject plus could have plus be three. मतलब I could have gone मैं जा सकता था. They could have come वे आ सकते थे. Got the point? I hope it is very clear over here. Now moving on to the next one. Note it down, please. 